Welcome to 4B Bow Hunting and Outdoors. I'm your host Bradley. What's happening? <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy, I had to steal your intro. But because I stole it, you will be linked below. You guys will want to go check him out, show him some love. Uh, he's got some super awesome gun videos, the most important chicken strip review videos, and some awesome bow fishing videos. So he will be linked below. You guys will want to go check him out, show him some love. Um, we also have some really cool bow fishing videos out. We've just gotten into it, just started it, so those will also be linked below. You guys will want to go check those out also. Um, my bow fishing rig should be here later this week. I just ordered it. But today, this afternoon, I'm going to be putting this battery here in the mule right there. It hasn't been running here lately because of battery issues, so we just went and bought a new one. I'm going to get it up and running. Hopefully it has gas. I need to check that. Hope it has gas. But the, the purpose of today's video is to kind of bring you guys along and show you the, the background, the behind the scenes of what we do with our filling feeders and checking cameras and maintenance and stuff like that to bring you the, the bow hunting and hog hunting footage that we, that we bring to you guys. Something a little bit different. It's not really, uh, we're not doing any hunting or fishing, so it's not gonna be super action packed, but I just thought uh, it'd be cool to show you guys the behind the scenes of what we do and how we do it. And you guys wanna stick around, this is gonna be a fun one. Let's see if she's got a gas. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's almost full to the top. Sweet! Okay guys, I'm here at the stand we call the honey hole. It is a protein feeder and a corn feeder. We don't have any protein running right now, but we always keep corn running year round just for the hogs. It may be kind of hard for you guys to see it, but that is our ladder stand right there. It fits two people and then we have a camera arm right up in here. This is by far one of my most favorite stands that I've ever hunted out of. I love being up in the air and I love being up in a ladder stand just like that. Um, if there's just something about being up in the sky. I hate being in the, on the ground and being eye level with everything. It just seems like I'm always so much more successful in shooting and killing animals when I'm up in the air like that. So, one of my favorite spots. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to check and see how much corn. Oh yeah, completely empty. So I'm going to fill this real quick and then right here is our trail camera. Currently using stealth cam exclusively just because that's the only thing that we can find that will last and take pictures and batteries last long. They take really good quality pictures. I'm not being paid to say this, but they are some very high quality cameras for the money. We love them. We've used pretty much every brand on the market and none of them stand up quite like these do. So. I'm gonna grab the SD card out of that, throw some corn up here in this barrel, and check the battery in this feeder, because I'm sure it's getting low, probably close to dead. Need to throw a solar panel back on it, and then I'm gonna get out of here. Hopefully I didn't run anything off. Glad that's over. It is hot out here. Battery still seems to have a little bit of a charge in it. Uh, this feeder throws at like 8 p.m. I think. So I'm gonna kind of sneak out of here. So I'm gonna kind of sneak out of here and close all this stuff up and grab this SD card.
And another thing I wanted to add is, I know it's hot here in Texas, guys, but these right here will save your life. Snake boots, snake boots, snake boots. Wear them. Please, guys, wear them. If you have them, if you don't, go buy some. I know it's hot to wear them with jeans, especially. I wear them with shorts all the time. You guys know that. But it's worth it to save your life from rattlesnakes, copperheads, water moccasins, whatever the case may be. Anything poisonous here in Texas, there's lots of different snakes that are. So take the precaution, wear the snake boots. One of the lakes that we fish a lot, there was a kid out there last week, it's Meridian State Park, he was bit by a copperhead is what they said. Um, I believe he ended up being okay, but guys, you never ever know. Um, they're perfectly camouflaged 90% of the time you never even see them you never even hear them so just just wear snake boots or chaps or something wear some kind of boots and pants when you're out to save yourself from chiggers mosquitoes snakes especially whatever um, it's all fun and games doing this kind of stuff is is what we love to do but you can't do it if you're snake bit we love to hunt we love to bow hunt, we love to fish, we love to do all these things outdoors by the grace of God. But we want to stay safe in the process. We're all about safety and that's one of our number one priorities. We always take precautions, we always do what's necessary to keep ourselves safe while we're out here enjoying God's great country. So I know that they may not be stylish and I know that they may not be the coolest thing in the world for July in Texas. But, they'll save your lives. I'm gonna run back to the truck, grab the SD card reader from my phone, check this SD card, check the SD card that I just dropped, and I'm gonna go hit the second feeder. I'm back here at the truck now. I've got this SD card. I got my little handy SD card reader. This thing's pretty disgusting from several months of use. What can I say? But Apple makes this thing, and for those of you that don't know about it, it makes it work. You can check SD cards from trail cameras on your iPhone. It's pretty handy. And then it opens it up, and you click import right here, and then it loads all of them. Of course, they're not loaded right now. Maybe hard for you guys to see that. But I'm gonna wait for them all to, to import. <clears throat> so you guys can see that. It's, I don't know how popular they are or how many of you know about them, but they're pretty handy. Whenever we go to the stand, before we get up there, we'll walk over to the camera, grab the SD card, and get back in the stand and, and check the camera while we're sitting there waiting on something to come in. But another thing that I wanted to say to you guys while I'm thinking about it is this time of year, drink tons of water. That's what I'm fixing to do. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. It's the most important thing. Yep, see, here you go, guys. There's pigs right there. All nighttime pictures, some daytime pictures. But yeah, they're pretty handy. They're really, really cool little, little gadgets. I know it's hard for you guys to see it, but there's a, there's a sow in there with a bunch of little bitty football sized piglets. I'll drop one of the trail camera pictures in so you guys can see it. Instead of importing all 2,000 pictures, I'm just kind of going through here and selecting a few here and there just to kind of gauge the time that all these pigs are coming in. And it looks like the piglets are like clockwork every afternoon before it gets dark. So we're gonna have to jump on that. There is a ton of them. Oh, and then we have the we have the big visitors too. Cows. Plenty of turkeys on here too. I've got a few deer pictures here and there. One of my most favorite things to do is uh, look at trail camera pictures, see what you got coming in. You never know what you're gonna see, especially here in the hill country. There's a pretty nice sized boar in there. Ethan needs to shoot that one. Tons of turkeys. There's a turkey in here that I I would bet has at least a foot long beard. 
We're gonna try to shoot him this fall, and you guys will want to stay tuned for that video because he is an absolute monster. One of the biggest turkeys I think I've ever seen. Super excited. I've never shot a turkey with a bow before. Neither has Ethan. So we're gonna try to make that happen this fall. Just here recently, there's been probably five or six toms and some hens that have showed up on his property. We haven't seen them in several years. Um, just out of nowhere, back in, I guess it was about December last year, they just showed up. So they've been sticking around. We hunted for them a little bit here and there. We've seen them a lot driving around on the property. Just haven't ever been able to connect. And the times that we have seen them driving around, it hasn't been turkey season, so we can't shoot them anyway. But they're really, really nice toms. Wow. I'm saying wow because the amount of pig activity this one feeder is getting. <laughs> Once again, this is why we named it the honey hole. This is absolutely insane. Tons of turkeys, tons of pigs. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's probably pretty hard. But nothing but solid pig. Nothing but solid pigs in every one of these pictures. It's insane. I'm kind of disappointed. I'm flipping through all these pictures and I haven't seen the pig that we, we've nicknamed Ghost. We're making a video specifically for him. Uh, it's a black and white spotted pig. Uh, he's been, we've been chasing him since September of last year, 2016, I guess. Uh, by now, he's a good 225 pounds or so. He's a big pig. We've seen him multiple, multiple times. We just haven't been able to connect on him. He's so smart, he knows what the lights look like. He knows when he has a light shining on him. We have tons of trail camera pictures of him from three o'clock in the morning on out. And it's been a, uh, it's one of those pigs that you, they're, they're really old and you know that they're smart and they're educated because they know what the, the sniper hog lights look like. Uh, they know when they have a light being shined on them. They know when there's something in the area that's not right. As a matter of fact, as I'm telling you guys this, there's pictures of him right there. Wow. I'll drop some pictures of him. And also, he's a big pig. Anyway, while I'm letting all these import, I'm going to shoot across to the feeder, the other feeder, and I'm going to check that camera off. So I just made it over here to this other feeder. This is an this is an all seasons uh, um, 500 pound feeder, I think. We love this thing; holds tons of corn. Here's where our other trail, our other trail camera is set up. Got the card out of this one, and I'm gonna put this one back in there. As I was saying earlier, love to be up in the air, or you know, at least elevated a little bit. I hate being on the ground. So I know it's pretty rough looking right now. The, a recent storm that we had kind of blew this pop-up blind over. But we built this stand for it, as you guys can see, made it out of four by four posts and two by sixes and some plywood. Need to reposition that thing. But it gives us a perfect little shot right out here to this feeder it's about a 17 yard shot which is perfect for a bow this is the view if you're looking from the top of this platform another thing um, a, a tip that you guys can use that we try to uh, utilize as often as possible 
is whenever you're setting up a stand in an oak grove like this or something really brushy always try to put limbs like this in between in between you and the feeder it helps so much to kind of break up any movement or discoloration of yourself while you're in a stand because of that limb being in the way and if there's any wind at all which hopefully there is while you're hunting and it's back in your face you want something moving and it makes it to where the animals can't pick you up as well while you're sitting in a pop-up blind tripod ladder stand whatever it may be just a cool little tip for you guys to try out something that we try to do as often as possible you'll be so much more successful while hunting you won't be picked off as often while you're sitting in a setup like this with something in between you and the feeder something to break it up there's so many different things that you can do to uh, make yourself more successful but that's just one of those simple little easy things that you can do while you're setting up a new spot judging by the little windows on this thing it's about half so i'll come throw five or six bags in here before too long and get it completely full well i am back at the truck now uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this episode i haven't ever done anything like this before uh, this is just ethan's property and we have two setups here and it's it's a good way to show you guys kind of what we do behind the scenes i know a lot of y'all are hunters and so you know exactly how this goes and and uh, how everything works but for those of you that aren't hunters it's kind of cool to show you guys what we do and, and how we do it and how things are set up uh, we we have several other properties that we have stands and feeders set up on and so we get to do this all the time It's a uh, it's a ton of fun and like I said earlier looking at trail camera pictures is one of my most favorite things uh, You get to manage your own herds and you get to watch the animals Grow especially deer you get to watch their antlers grow you get to keep up with them you, It's a uh, it's cool how you can track an animal hitting a staying on a certain portion of the property and you can keep up with them year to year to year and you can watch them grow to be into a big buck or a big pig or uh, something of that nature um, whatever animal that you've been tracking and watching over the years and then all of a sudden they're uh, this goes especially with deer once they get to the their full potential and they're completely mature then you get to go and you get to hunt them so it's just kind of a cool way to keep up with them and and keep track of them and and watch them grow this is how we feed our families. Uh, this thing is very important to us, even though it is a, it's a ton of fun. We, um, we love to put meat and food on the table for our families and have fun doing it. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, you guys know that whenever I took the SD card out of the Honey Hole trail camera and I came back over here to the truck, I checked that SD card and then I deleted all the pictures off of it and I saved the ones that I wanted. Then I took off on the other side of the property over here and I checked this other feeder. Well, whenever I got over here, I grabbed the, I just grabbed the SD card out of it. You guys know, blah, 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 whatever. Um, stuck the empty one from the honey hole over here in this camera, brought the one out of that camera over here with me, deleted all the pictures off of it, and then, took back, and then I took off back over there to the honey hole to stick an SD card back in it. When I got there, those little football-sized piglets that you guys saw were standing there. Of course i drove right up on the feeder scared them away i didn't see the sow so hopefully i didn't spook her too bad i know that they'll be back i just hope that they that i didn't push their schedule later into the evening we hunt with the absolute best night hunting lights on the market but it's always super nice whenever the hogs come in during the daylight so not much you can do about it i should have brought the sd card reader with me out there whenever i checked the camera but i just forgot it i left it in the truck lesson learned for next time uh, I do that quite often actually and I really, really need to stop doing it. Ethan can attest to that. I, I forget stuff all the time. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Our Instagram will be linked below. You guys can go check it out. Leave us a like. And like I said earlier in the video, I stole Jimmy's intro. So you guys will want to go check him out. Hit that subscribe button for him. We appreciate all the love and support. Thank you guys for watching so much. Uh, for all that you do and all the growth that you've shown us in the last several months. You guys are absolutely amazing. Uh, unfortunately, Ethan couldn't be with me today to help me, but he will be back in the next video. We are, like I said, we are working on trying to shoot some hogs. That is the number one thing at the top of the list to do right now. We want to bring you guys some more awesome hog hunting footage. But we love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you all in the next one.